What's up everyone, George Lima here with MuscleMasochist.com um, I've done a lot of shit talking over the months, over the years actually, about beginner programs. Five sets of five, whatever, you know, mad cows, some bullshit. Most people do them, most people get decent results with them. Most people seem to get stuck around the same strength in the same exact rut on those programs. And I think most people think their genetics are poor or they're not eating right or something like that. When the truth is, you don't have to eat that good to get pretty strong by most people's standards. You don't have to have a very strict diet to squat and deadlift 500 pounds and stuff like that. So typically, I'm going to say for most people, it's not so much a diet issue so much as a training issue. Because if you never changed your diet at all when you worked out right, you could probably get pretty big and strong if you like to eat. You know what I mean? Most foods will get you bigger and stronger. Pizza, cake, shit like that will do it. Um, but I'm going to explain to you. I was talking to, I think, a client the other day on Facebook and kind of explaining um, why I didn't like five sets of five as compared to the way I typically train or I train other people. Um, let's say you squat 300 pounds and you're going to start doing five sets of five on squats. Your first workout's 240. Five sets of five with 240. It's, it's already a hard workout for you because you only squat 300 pounds. The problem is, with that first workout, even though it's already hard, you don't push yourself to the limit. It is not your limit. You're starting off easy, light for you. You know, there's never a set where you go absolutely balls to the wall and really push yourself. And the problem is, if you're squatting two days a week and adding five pounds of workout, let's say, it's only about a month before that weight is so heavy that five sets of five is going to be very hard to do for most people who squat 300 pounds. You have around 275 for five sets of five or something like that in just a month's time. So you go from the first workout that's already hard to do, but you don't push yourself to your limits. And within a month, you're already at weights that you can't do. That you can't, literally, you can't hit five sets of five with it. You're, you're stuck. You're plateaued. What do you get? A lot of times people start back over a little bit later and shit like that. And they end up making subpar progress over the year. I, I feel like most people who squat between 300 and 400 pounds should be uh, shooting for, you know, very significant PRs over the months. I like to think that most clients who squat about 300 pounds could get to 405 in two or three months of training. You know, if not less for some people, if not slightly more for others, obviously genetics play a role. But for like the average healthy, like young male who's like very determined, like I think most people can add, you know, 100 pounds to their squat or deadlift in a very short time frame, especially if you're relatively new to training. And a lot of times five sets of five and stuff like that won't do it, simply because people start off not pushing themselves as hard as they can. And then very shortly afterwards, they can't keep going heavier. The goal with training for me is to keep people making progress every week. I try and start people off with a light enough weight that they can keep adding a lot of weight over time for a long time, six months or a year or something, you know, hopefully, and then gradually peak them up, you know? Whereas five sets of five, it starts you off at something sort of shitty in my opinion. Most people mentally doing five sets is terrible for a lot of people on squats. I don't do five sets on almost any exercises unless they're relatively easy because I literally just can't push myself the way I push myself, the way I like to push myself for five sets. A lot of people can't. It's tiring. It's mentally weakening and stuff like that. And so I don't really like the rep scheme in general. If your first set of five is hard, you have to do another five sets and then next week you're fucked and it's only been six weeks of training because next week you can't go heavier and still hit all your reps. Whereas other styles of training will allow you to keep going heavier, allow you to keep PRing, allow you to keep pushing yourself from day one, even if you're using lighter weights. Instead of doing 240 for five sets of five, someone could use 200 pounds, do one set, and possibly make faster gains. Because next time they're going to add 10 pounds, let's say, they're going to be using 210, and they might do the exact same rep range. They might even have gained reps on that set just from having gotten conditioned to doing higher reps when they weren't. I like to train people with, with methods that they're typically not used to so they can make faster progress on it. That's why with most of my clients, I start most people off with higher reps because no one's been doing it. Do I stick with that forever? Absolutely not. Do I usually incorporate high reps in some shape or form? Just about always. I almost always incorporate high reps. And programs that don't incorporate any high reps, why? Why not? Like, why wouldn't you do high rep pushdowns after benching? Is it, is it not beneficial? Is, being bigger not beneficial is training your triceps for size not beneficial just because it's an extension or because it's in the 
10 or 20 rep range, no. It's, it's a perfectly good way of, you know, making progress. And, you know, a lot of beginner programs overlook these rep ranges, they overlook a lot of exercises, and they start people off with kind of a mentally wearing, shitty program that's no fun to do, that has very few accessory exercises that are really going to benefit you, and ends up just fucking people over. Um, most be a lot of beginner programs are like that, and so I really don't like beginner programs. And when people ask me why, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, so I figured I'd make a video. Um, but basically, they're just not as good as training you could do on your own. Otherwise, I'd be doing it. I'd do it myself. I'd have other people do it. I'd develop four sets of four. Four sets of six, or some shit, you know what I mean? But I just don't find it to be effective. And my job is to give people effective training programs, so that's what I try to do. As always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to check out MuscleMasochist.com for apparel and coaching and recommended products and stuff like that. And um, subscribe for more.